Hey guys, what's up? This is Gollum, and welcome to Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus on the PlayStation 3. We're going to be going through the entire series of Sly Cooper, which I believe there are currently four of, and this should be pretty interesting. I have never actually played any of the Sly Cooper games, as I just didn't have any of them while growing up. But I knew of it. I knew of, you know, other kids talking about it, other kids liked that they're big fans of it, uh, and I'd, I'd like to see what all the hubbub is about. Although, obviously, there isn't enough hubbub, because we probably have five Sly Cooper games at this point. Rest in peace, Sly Cooper fans! <laughs> but this should be fun, and I'm looking forward to getting into this. Now, before we get started, I do want to note that this is a Let's Play that was voted up by my patrons on Patreon. This is actually the first of those, because I wanted to give something back to the people who are donating and trying to help and support the channel. So they're going to be voting up LPs, and this was the one that won out. So we're going to be going through the entire series for them, and in the future, we'll see what else they may suggest. Maybe we'll play some games that I don't know of, or I'll we'll get to some games that I would have been putting off for years to years, just because of the circumstances of life. But with all that said, I am ready to get started and become Sly Cooper who I guess is the, not really, I guess he's not the Thievius Raccoonus, because he's a thief, so he'd be the one stealing the Thievius Raccoonus? I have no idea, I really am at my depth here. Sly, come in! Sly, do you read me? Yeah, I read you, loud and very loud. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Get over it, Bentley, you're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. Got their security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. And don't forget you got me at the wheel, Sly. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. All right. Oh, we're not going to jump off dramatically. We have to do it ourselves. Yep, you got it. All right. We're just going to make assumptions for how the controls are until it actually begins to tell us, if it ever does. Hey, Bentley, I think I'm seeing things. Must be vertigo or something. Can you see those crazy blue lights? Really? I've read about this. Master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. Uh, according to my research, all you have to do is get near them and hold down the circle button and you should perform a super sneaky master thief move. Hold down the circle button near blue auras. I'm on it. <laughs> yeah, sure. Hold down the circle button near blue auras. You got it. Oh, but I still have to do the whole action. I thought we were just going to go through the whole thing. Whoops. I got to hold it all the way down. It's not just to initiate it. Okay. All the way around. You got it. And what is this going to do for me? Oh, this is going to be how I get across, but is there anything for me to gain here? Look, if I'm going to be a master thief, that means I want master amounts of loot. But we'll see how that kind of plays out. Now, I'm pretty bad at stealth games, so we're going to see... Oh, jeez! Quick slide! How, smash the siren! How this plays out. Okay, look, we just started and I already... I've already been caught. Nice job, you're in. Inspector Carmelita Fox's office is behind the red door. Okay, the red door, understood. Introducing Carmelita Montoya Fox as the inspector. Oh, we're doing that kind of thing where it's introducing fake characters as if they are like actors. Carmelita the Fox doesn't actually exist. But, but whatever, we'll just take some stuff from her. Oh boy. So what am I trying to get from her? Can I unlock this? Way to go, Sly! This is where Inspector Carmelita Fox stashes all her important files. I hacked into the police security mainframe and discovered this vault's combo. Try dialing in 937. You got it. All right, 937. That's pretty darn simple. Although if I were truly a super master thief, I would just use my ears or something. Because we got pretty big ones. Good stuff. All right. 
<laughs> Pokio. Ah, leaving a signature. Little, I, I don't know what, what I would call that, but a memento? Criminal. Criminal? Uh-oh. You foolish raccoon. I've caught you red-handed. Ah, Carmelita. I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Aha, uh -huh. and I was going to give it to you as a little token of my... Hey, you know, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. You think? This pistol packs a paralyzing punch. You ought to try it. Might snap you out of your crime spree. And give up our little rendezvous? Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. <laughs> yep. Oh, oh, geez, he's trying to shoot me down. You can't take me down, cover! <laughs> I, I don't really fully know exactly what kind of individual I am, but this is a rated E game, so I'm not that bad of a guy. I'm just a morally gray thief character, which we all love. And I hope she doesn't shoot my van, because that'd be pretty smart. Uh, how do I get in? I'm running straight inside. Oh, I had to jump. Okay, that's fair. You can't escape me, raccoon! This is very much a PlayStation 2 era game. Once again, my gang and I had given Inspector Carmelita Fox the slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I'd been searching for all these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoon. Ah. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found the Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the fiendish five, avenge my father, and steal back the Thievius Raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. Yeah, that makes sense. I didn't know we were going into a revenge story here. It's not. <laughs> we went from one revenge story to another, except this one's gonna be a little less violent. Uh, when the following icon appears, your progress is being saved. Yeah, yeah, don't turn off the system where everything will that go bad. That was a nice piece of work back there at police headquarters, Sly. Come see me if you want to check out any of your old movies. I've got them all here on my computer. Use the left analog stick to move around the hideout and the X button to select things. I love when games are just straightforward with you. They're just like, yeah, hey, press X. The characters in the game say it. I've already plotted a route to our first target. Wait, okay. Oh, so that's what he means by movies. The secret police smile. He means all the different cutscenes. Gotcha. All right. We need to learn how to become the Master Thief by being Master Thieves along the way. Oh! You want... One? One?! <laughs> I know, Murray, you can have all of those, don't I've worry. I've already plotted a... The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, he tried his hand at a bit of piracy and found it to his liking. 
Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the Fiendish Five as chief machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Rath, a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of a parallel triangle. Oh, everything <laughs> tied of terror. All of our little events, all of our little chapters are going to be named like they're episodes or movies. That makes sense. It ties well with the credits being like, ah, oh, Sly Cooper as himself or something, you know? Hey, Sly! I just spotted something that's going to complicate the mission. See that nasty looking gate? It blocks the only road leading into Raleigh's hideout. No problem. I'll just use my climb move. Okay, but remember, you can only climb on certain objects, like pipes and ropes. Yeah, sure, and like that ladder there? That is correct, but do not forget, Sly. You have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, 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 relax, Bentley. I live for this stuff. Yeah, and that's what worries me. <laughs> All right. You know, it's interesting. Why did the... the why did the fiendish five split the book up into five pieces rather than just making copies now, for this themselves. Is very interesting. The message you just found appears to be some sort of club. I'll decipher it here in the van. In the meantime, see if you can find any more clues. The more I have, the easier it'll be to crack the code. Yeah, alright. So how stealthy do I have to be? Oh boy. I do have a melee attack. Oh! And I can break some things open to get coins. Can I take this guy out? Hey, all right. It's not that aggressively stealthy of a game. It's not like Hitman, where if you, uh, you mess up once, boom, you're just taken down in like an instant. You gotta be cautious. So say I don't want to get caught by this, these spotlights, but I can hit a couple of enemies if possible. See those searchlights? One careless step, and you'll be subjected to acute combustion. Are you done whining? Let's go. I'm just trying to keep you alive, partner. Fortunately for you, I launched these signal repeaters throughout Raleigh's fortress. Get close to one, and I can checkpoint your progress. Nice. Oh, we're checkpoint based. I mean, that's normal, but we're checkpoint based in that I have to. Oh. Get to the checkpoint. That killed me? Huh. Oh, I've got lives. Wow. Oh, okay. Well, that was one way to die. I didn't know. I wasn't looking at those. I was looking at the light path. <laughs> I completely did not realize that was a thorn. Just a, a path of thorn. Jeez. Okay. Well, at the very least, it looks like we keep the books, but we don't keep the coins. Or if we do keep the coins, we can still regain them by coming over and breaking things or taking out enemies. No, no, no. You're not spinning away and getting and disappearing on me. I might not have played very many platformers in my time, but I can navigate myself through plenty of things. I just have to not make dumb mistakes and die to, like, the easiest thing ever. Literally just go walk along the path. Gotcha. All right. So I gotta wait for these to cross over, and then I don't need to die to it. What is this? Oh. I think that's just another one of those sirens. Whoa! Jesus! Why is this guy throwing stars at me? Come on, break this too. <laughs> it gives me rewards. I don't know if I can take this guy out. I'm gonna try. Wham! Okay, we're good. All right. Now, do I hit this, or does it just... I think it just automatically checkpoints as it looks at me. Yeah, okay. Get near the checkpoint, it activates. Standard stuff. 
According to my amphibio positioning system, that big blimp is where Raleigh is hiding out. You know, that blimp looks more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. That is a storm machine. It's the reason why it never stops raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24-7? Beats me. The rain or shine, I'm gonna steal my family's book back. And if Raleigh gets in my way, it's on. <laughs> oh, there's a bee. Take out the bees, kiss me, buddy! All right, kids, <laughs> you know the drill. Go off, make your own bee stomping squad. It's time to, oh, Jesus, please fire. It's time to take out the world. According to my- Oh, shut up. Okay, I thought he was gonna give me a tip on how to take out this fire breathing dude, but I guess I'll just have to be fast. Fast and furious. Oh, Jesus! Yeah, yeah, that that's that's about me too. Just kind of shrug. Okay, I gotta be careful here. I don't even know how to get lives. Life is scary, so I guess I just uh, there was a whole path here. Hmm. If I jump further to the left and then just keep jumping, I won't get swept away by the currents. Easy. I just happened to learn that a very hard way. Maybe gathering these bottles will give me lives. Although, it will probably end up being the coins give me lives. Nice job so far, Sly. To get over the next gate, you'll need to grab onto this hook using your cane. Just jump and hit the circle button. Got it. Jump and hit the circle button to grab onto hooks. All right, yeah. Wham! Easy peasy, everybody. So how come the pirate <laughs> has turned himself into basically a machinist, a big engineer, a big inventor? That's definitely a jump from being a pirate of the seas and then after that, just making devices for yourself and other people. Although it's obvious that I think he would probably use this storm in order to make or to get treasure, either to get treasures or to keep people away from his lair. Because if they were to come by sea, that's easy money. You just loot the wrecked ships. Okay, I don't have to wait on every single one. I can just go fast. I was just trying to be cautious. Hmm. I'm just gonna run through here. I gotta take out the throwing star guy. Stop that. I like how the music gets really dramatic as I approach these guys. Ooh, no, 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 no. I don't have like a, a roll or anything like that. Ooh, but I do, I can't just pull out my binoculars. At any time. L1, R1, you got it. Ooh. Wait. Those rewards always been up there. Shoot. How do I reach them? Oh god. Oh, uh, that touched me. And I didn't die. <laughs> Thank you, not completely 100% accurate hitboxes for spotlights. That large vault has got to be somehow related to those clues in box. You're oh. still jumping the gun. You need a few more clues. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I don't want to let you finish, you just cut yourself off there. Ah, I can climb up the rope. I just played a game where we couldn't do something like that, so I just, uh... Sometimes the games only want you to zip line around. And I just built that expectation, but I'm a master thief! I can climb wherever I can, wherever I want to. Yeah, I tried to hit this out. Okay. Well, let's see if we can find some more bottles. I don't know if I was supposed to find all the bottles along the way here. But I'm making progress. Oh yeah, I was about to say, do I use the key here? <laughs> that was quick. Okay. I'm curious about if I missed anything else. I don't think so. 
out here, but I shouldn't be making assumptions. Also, I just noticed that the spotlights are out. Is that because of me? Yeah, right, I can't jump over that. Just because I'm a master thief doesn't always mean that I have supreme mad hops. Just mostly good mad hops. Oh, I can't get back over that. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Well, I hope I didn't miss any bottles already. But I don't need 100% everything. Although... If I could get some amazing items from opening up these vaults, that would be nice. Oh, can I go fast? Ah! Yeah. 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 I tried too much. Alright. Oh, I gotta go through all this again. Jeez. My friend, it's all about speed and endurance. As I become more and more of a master thief. You're still jumping the gun. You need a few more clues. As I become more and more skilled, we will become true pros, true professionals. No longer will I die, silly death. I will be able to get through everywhere without being caught, or at least without dying. That blimp looks like the most secured location on this boat. If Raleigh's really as smart as his police files suggest, then that's where I'll find him. Wonderful idea, but your plan is flawed. Why? Because it's impossible to get near him. To access Raleigh's blimp, you would have to sneak through that high voltage power tube. To do that without getting electrocuted, you'd have to destroy that power generator. And to do that, you'd need two more of Raleigh's treasure keys, which are heavily guarded. Interesting. So when are you gonna get to the impossible part? Fine! But I warned you, I've marked the areas you need to hit with holographic markers. Follow them to your objectives. Thanks. Don't mention it. It's your funeral. Bentley, you need to have more faith in me, man. We're childhood friends. And you agreed for this mission stuff with me. So, you gotta believe that I am a hyper capable master thief. Or at least on my way there. lucky charm. That'll protect you when you take any damage. Oh. That's all right, I guess. I was fully ready to never, like, or to try to never take damage. I knew I'd probably die a bunch, but, uh, oh god. I see, chaps. My heart is congratulations to you all. The storm machine has sunk its fittiest ship last night, and the loot has already been unloaded. Our operation is moving along splendidly. <laughs> All right, the villain simultaneously complimented everybody and then proceeded to insult them and they go, yeah, but you know what? It's okay. We're on our way there. Oh, well, that was an accident, but that's all right. I don't, I didn't even, this is an accident. I just ended up here and I was like, hey, can I use this to climb upwards? And then boom, the answer was yes. The fire down below. Oh, because there's an area over here. So we have to like manage going to multiple places. Off the charts in here. This must be the power source for the storm machine. Oh man. Okay. There's 30 bottles here, and we started a whole new count. So that means that I probably did miss bottles in the first area. But 
how am I going to manage this? Can I just jump up here? Okay, that's easy. Oh gosh. I definitely uh, don't, definitely don't know how many bottles I'm actually going to obtain over the course of this game. But I'll try. Better close those furnace doors. Jump and press the square button. That'll slam them shut. Alright. But first I'd have to Oh, okay. That works. I thought I was gonna have to jump on top of them and then slam down. Not enough space. Sly, see that machine wheel? If my knowledge of mechanical engineering serves me right, applying significant rotational torque to achieve maximum velocity will yield a positive result. You mean something good might happen if I can get the wheel to spin fast enough? Isn't that what I just said? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I was worried about it. Just hit the wheel a whole bunch and everything will be fine. Or, oh, I have to run on the wheel. Yeah, that makes sense, too. Oh, my. That was a lot of coins. I still don't know what coins are used for. I'm assuming that you get 100, you get a life. That's a, that's a golden standard in a lot of games. Or at least Mario. <laughs> so, I, I could accept that. Alright, I just wanted to see how long that lasted. But how do I go all the way to the top? For my loot? Uh-oh. Oh, thank god. Okay. Aha! Master! Jumping is the answer. I'm a professional gamer. I don't need your hooks to navigate myself around. I'll just use my own abilities. And the platforms that the hooks are kind of going off of. Nope. I'm going off the beaten trail. Ooh, toasty. That's okay. That's all right. That's what the lucky charm is for. Okay, I thought this was an open floor and I was about to burn to death. That would have been bad. I just want all the bottles. That's a checkpoint thing, right? Yeah, okay, good. I'll do with you in a second, buddy. I have climbing to do. Now, I don't need to break the bottles or anything with like a melee attack. It just feels better to do it. Feels like I'm having more of an impact. It also seems like you can actually pick up things by hitting them. Like I have a further range to do something. I've also spent the last two months basically beating up a oh boy. Is that a spotlight? It probably is. I'm just not gonna trust any of these lights. But does it move on its own? Yeah, it does. Ugh. I can't see if it's like on a camera, but you see how many like, there are like five lights in the room beyond. Or four. Ah, Jesus. I wasn't seeing what was going on in the room beyond because of the light, and I guess I had started, started something to move. I have no idea where I'm going. But we've almost got all the bottles for this region. Oh! And one of the keys. Wait, is it taking me back automatically? Oh no! I didn't know it would do that! Alright, now that's something to keep an eye out for. Don't grab the end results or the end rewards or it will take me immediately out of the level, even if there are plenty of other things for me to go for. 